so we have our basic model component in place where we want to add our to do form right so let's get started with that inside components let me close out everything first and then side components we will have to do add form or rather to do add index.tsx this is just shortcut for me to create that entire structure nothing else so inside this we will have a form Okay, div form group let me quickly um, write up the markup and then we'll start so we have the basic structure in place I have declared two variables in my state the description and the date I have destructured them here then I have this first input field which is a text field says enter the to-do description and the value is description of the state and on change I'm setting the state with the new value and the same goes for date right um, so now it's time to show this form inside the model so I'll just remove this p tag and save load our model and we have this form so for some time why don't we get a little smart and have this true as always because we are working on the form okay fair enough uh, I forgot the button so I'll just add that I'll have success and in that I'll have save now this form submit needs to be handled so on submit I'll just have say this dot handle form submit okay um, I'll need to create this function obviously so this is like so this says void is not assignable on submit I'll have this okay and let's just say on submit this function should get one function as props from the parent component which is our home okay let's just say uh, this is the model to do add and to do add I'll create a function here just say handle to do add I'll expect some data over here and for now just console out the data okay so what are we doing we are taking this function over here and where is my to do add I'm expecting a prop right so first of all define it here interface props um, on to do add is going to be a Uh, is it going to be empty I don't think so let's see um, so define the props in here and instead of calling this function why don't we do one thing we just send the data here okay and description date are the two things which I'll send and let's just have okay this is data right so as object should have worked come to think of it the only thing is I haven't destructured it here that's why it is creating a problem constant this equals this dot props and then I'll take this entire thing like this so what have we done we are declaring that this is going to be a prop coming from the parent component on to do add 
and this function will have a data okay and that's what we have done in here we are sending the description and the date and if we are lucky on this data right oops sorry this dot what is the name of the function handle to do add so handle to do add data so if everything is right what is going to happen is while rendering the home component is sending this function as a prop the to do add function or uh, rather component is getting that function as a prop in this and whenever the form is being submitted maybe through the button click or through the form submit whatever it is right it will send that information back to the home con home component and that's where we have added the console from home component okay open up my console I'll figure this out this save button thing for now let's just add something date field should have been something I'll need to check that and hit save okay we haven't uh, handled the event uh, prevent default so that is a problem Ta -ta -ta -ta. so how do we do this so obviously we cannot call it here we'll have to define um, handle form submit again in here this needs to expect event and we will do event dot prevent default first and then we'll do this dot props dot on add we'll send we'll destructure it here and we'll send these two things like this okay and then just like event event hmm, what happened yeah i don't need those brackets so now i think we should be able to stop the form submit right because we are getting the event and we are doing a prevent default i'll do this first and then we will do the rest of the things so let's try it out again some description one more save data from component and i am getting these two things which means i am now open to making an ajax call from the home component and my form is completely um you know kind of how do you say independent of what happens on form submit because you know the only thing which the form submit needs to know is that whenever i'm being submitted let's just say we will have some additional validations as well but after that i am good to go i don't need to worry how that ajax call is going to be performed so you know basic things are done An important thing is the date field obviously uh, so let's just see how we can fix that in here we have this date field which is uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. this needs to be date and so now the rendering will change i have this on change um if you see the value is going to be in a different format inside components i'll just use this the value is in year month and date right whereas what it is showing is a little different however we want that the date field by default shows the current date so how do we do that let me open up my console and show you something so let's just say there is a variable d equals new date d dot get full year is a function which is available which gives me 2020 d dot get month 
gives me the month however it is one less and it is also not zero five uh, so let's just say is there a way for us to format date in date field okay that's support office i don't need that uh, is there any w3c document something like that if i can you know easily there is a max there's a min this is fine max min is fine but i want um value is here which is fine can't i have a format maybe no enter your birthday this is a bit strange i would say validation is again fine give me format do i have format no i don't let us search for input field date format it is possible to change the format input says where well, refers to something something are they talking about some solution here data date format wow as previously mentioned it is officially not possible to change the format however it is possible to style the field okay hmm this is a bit strange min list autofocus autocomplete type anyway so we will use this i will stick to this the only thing is you know uh, the month is four however right now i'm on five uh, basically it's um, second of may so what we need to do is plus one and also we need to pad uh, the string so this is something which you know is a little bit of extra thing but anyways we'll have to do uh, later on we will need to component did mount uh, get this into a helper function because i don't want this you know, logic to be here but new um, c date let's just say which is the client date is equal to new date okay i create this uh, constant and then I have how do you say constant year is equal to C date dot get full year which is fine now constant month is equal to C date dot get full month get month sorry uh, plus one okay then uh, 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 if if a month is less than or equal to nine then we do how do you do this uh, i can have back text zero and then month else month okay so this becomes a let because i am changing it sorry so month equals this i want to make it a string so how do we do that i think it is complaining because this is coming as a number can i do it to string yes i think so okay what is going to happen is so i'll keep it here okay month equals um this to string sorry and month string okay we'll use this then um one string and then so i can again get back to constant okay and constant date dt equals let's just say c date dot get date 
and return or rather this dot set state you know first let me do the string constant date string is equal to inside back text i'll first have dollar year then the dash right i think it um the format is dash if i'm not wrong component this yes so dash month the month string and then dt okay this dot set state date is going to be date string now let's just see what happens Hmm, that's strange. It didn't work. Um, okay. I need a padding on the date as well. So, this is DT. Um, let's just see. So, if this is less than or equal to 9, then again i'll run into this problem of strings and numbers so mm, we should not complicate things this is dt and then we have constant dt string equals dt is less than or equal to 9 then we pad it with a 0 else dt and we make everything make this entire thing into a string okay like we did for month so this is done and in here we'll have this let's see uh, yes so we have the current date automatically populated and let's just say just just for for the sake of doing this let's just say it is second so we will have this as 5 uh, plus so 7 yes 7th May is coming up so this is all done however obviously this is something which we should ideally uh, then move it into a helper function or some service so that we can reuse this piece of code because this is too much inside the component it mount and this is really nothing to do with this particular component because we are just going to display um, the you know, date string so it can come from somewhere else that is some a refactoring which i will do later on i think um, it warrants maybe a service or a helper class where you put everything in place okay so yeah i think uh, with this let's try it out once more once more with date and i hit save and i get the dates and the description and let's just say my due date is for 9th i get 9th here as well so yeah that is how the form will initially send the data to the home component and now my home component has the responsibility of you know, making an ajax call by calling the service and persisting the to do into the database and then once that is done update this as well right so yeah that's something which we will handle now in the next video